Yes. Who for one and one for all? Who for one and one for all? If they touch one, then they touch all. If they touch one, then you touch all. So stand up. Stand Outside the place that children are supposed to feel safe and protected, fear and anger that they're anything but. You don't care. You don't feel the pain. I, when I saw that little girl, all I saw was my sister. Frustration has been building here all day after a video began circulating online that's so violent we can only show it to you in parts. Close to a school in Ashford, a schoolgirl was surrounded. She was kicked and punched and her braids were pulled. The adult you can hear doesn't help. In fact, they appear to be shouting techniques on how to attack the girl. Today, people march to her school to show their support. And these are children that you're teaching them to be racist. They're not racist. It's what the school is teaching them. Her cousin says this video highlights problems that the school needs to address. They call my auntie all the time for my mm -hmm. little cousin, for the littlest things. She gets her phone taken. And I'm thinking now, are you calling the school because you know she's going to get punished? Are you calling in because you know she's going to get punished? Or are you calling because you care? Because this time you wrote a statement, why didn't you tell us? And on top of that, she had a crowd following her when she left the school. You're telling me you didn't see the crowd? I cried and I was angry. I was, and I still feel so much anger. Um, but I just need change. Justice needs to be served. Um, and it needs to happen and you know what I'm glad that this school is being named and shamed because it's been about time. Surrey police say they're treating it as a racially motivated attack. Four people have been arrested. Uh, it is disturbing, it, it is disturbing um, but to watch that again not just as a police officer but also uh, as a parent and as a human being um, you know I was a little disappointed with your actions of some of the public in the area at the time. The school have released a statement saying they're taking all the necessary steps to deal with this incident. And the local MP has tweeted to say it's vital that children are safe at school and in their local community. But this video has people asking when that will happen. Daniel Henry, ITV News.